The biggest rewards in life are found outside your comfort zone. Live with it. Fear and risk are prerequisites if you want to enjoy a life of success and adventure. Make a conscious effort to surround yourself with positive, nourishing, and uplifting people, people who believe in you, encourage you to go after your dreams, and applaud your victories. Decide what it is you want, write it down, review it constantly, and each day do something that moves you toward those goals. Clarify your purpose. What is the why behind everything you do? When we know this in life or design it is very empowering and the path is clear. Change is inevitable in life. You can either resist it and potentially get run over by it, or you can choose to cooperate with it, adapt to it, and learn how to benefit from it. When you embrace change you will begin to see it as an opportunity for growth. The law of attraction states that whatever you focus on, think about, read about, and talk about intensely, you're going to attract more of into your life. Everything you think, say, and do needs to become intentional and aligned with your purpose, your values, and your goals. Part of paying the price is the willingness to do whatever it takes to get the job done. It comes from a declaration that you are going to get it done no matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes, no matter what comes up. Law of Attraction says, we'll give you whatever it is you say and focus on. And so if you are complaining about how bad it is, what you're creating is more of how bad it is. If you want to be really successful, and I know you do, then you will have to give up blaming and complaining and take total responsibility for your life, that means all your results, both your successes and your failures. That is the prerequisite for creating a life of success. To achieve major success in life, to achieve those things that are most important to you, you must assume 100% responsibility for your life. Nothing less will do. Some people fold after making one timid request. They quit too soon. Keep asking until you find the answers. In sales there are usually four or five no's before you get a yes. Some people fold after making one timid request. They quit too soon. Keep asking until you find the answers. In sales there are usually four or five no's before you get a yes. We are God's gift to each other. Like a master composer, he brings all the instruments together, each with a different tone, each playing a different part, and he makes it turn out so beautifully. To be on purpose means you're doing what you love to do, doing what you're good at, and accomplishing what's important to you. You can't change anyone else but people do change in relationship to your change. All relationships are a system, and when any one part of a system changes, it affects the other part. The formula is simple, do more of what is working, do less of what isn't, and try on new behaviors to see if they produce better results. There are only two words that will always lead you to success. Those words are yes and no. Undoubtedly, you've mastered saying yes. So start practicing saying no. There's so much information on the internet. But people don't need more information, they need aha moments, they need awareness, they need things that actually shift and change them. When you accomplish a goal, don't cross it out. Instead, write victory next to it and move on to the next one. This way, whenever you have a bad day, all you have to do is to review your victories to feel good about yourself.